you do, you have been extraordinarily successful in attracting those black Americans who are great in number, who have worked very hard, responsibly, sometimes at two and three jobs, paid all their bills, obeyed all the laws, bought a very nice home, sent their children to very good schools, and all the time throughout this hard, hard work have felt ambivalent about their own acquisition of material things. And what you've in effect done is come along and say, you deserve it, baby. Absolutely. You see, this is another thing. You know, organized religion, Christianity anyway, for the most part, uh, teach us that we don't deserve good. As a matter of fact, uh, we're taught in religion that we don't even deserve the mercy of God. But you see, psychologically, a person can only get what he really believes that he deserves. And you can work as hard as you want to, but if you don't believe that you deserve good, you're going to have a rough time about it. All right, but in order for me to get to the feeling that I deserve it, to really, to really throw myself into your message, I'm going to have to break away from my reliance, psychologically, theologically, on the God whom I have, who it's been taught to me, is so good to me even though I'm unworthy. Yes, but uh, you, you're certainly going to have to change your mind. But here again, you know, each person has his own God. It is said that God created man in his own image, and man, being a gentleman, returned the favor. And it is true. God is just as much a creation of man as the other way around. As a matter of fact, all of the people, each person here has his own concept of God, and no one has the exact same concept of God. Some people's God is harsh, unmerciful, and, you know, he has a book in one hand to write your sins in and a club in the other hand to knock the hell out of you if you make a mistake. Some people have a God like that. And, and then there are other people who have a God of mercy and love. Did you used to have a God like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. I angry had a God, terrible huh? God. Is that back in I South got Carolina? You got rid of him. I got rid of him. You were raised rather traditionally, weren't you? Absolutely. Was your daddy a minister? Yes, he was. South Carolina? Yes. Fire and brimstone? Well, I never heard him preach fire and brimstone, thank God. But I heard plenty of fire and brimstone preaching. What do you think? Anybody? I'm sorry, what? I'll well, get you back in here. He's not what? You're not a Christian then. Not by anybody else's definition. I'm a Christian by this definition. I believe that Christ is the presence of God in man, every man. And I do believe that the presence of God, good, love, is within me, and I believe that it is within everyone. By that definition, I am Christian. Jewels, too. You really... Does that bother you? That you... Yes, it well, bothers you. You have jewelry. Huh? Well, not like he has on. And uh, the thing is that when he dies, what is he going to do with all those? I mean, you believe in just enjoying it now because this is where it's at. And after you're gone, that's Isn't all. Isn't that okay? I believe that no, this is... No, the... I don't think it's I believe right. that this is now is the starting point. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Death, uh, I believe in life before death. You okay, see, this is another thing. We've been taught so much about life after death that we've neglected life before death. I think well, we should make the most of ourselves right here, right now, and then what is to come will be even better. What's bothering you? I just think he's too materialistic. It's entirely <laughs> repulsive to me to see someone sit up there like that and preach about... Okay, but can we, can I, may we chat? Sure. All right, just a moment. Um, how many cars do you have? Me? No, the family. The family, too. House? Yes. Vacation? Sometimes. Nice wardrobe? I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but why should he feel more self-conscious about his possessions well, than you do? I think mostly because he is preaching that money is so important. And I feel that if my husband makes a good mm -hmm. living and can support us in that way, but I, we don't put our soul goal on material things. We, we believe in life after death, and we believe that you should... Do you should. believe in life before death? I don't understand what you mean by life before That's death. That's what organized religion does not understand. Well, I, no, I don't. But I believe in life before death. I believe in the now of life. I believe in life. the basic Bible, creation, Adam and Eve, and uh -huh. right on down. And I believe that I should make the most out of myself here and now, and whatever is to come will be even better. I'm sure other people want All to get right. it on them. Yes. <laughs> tell you that I like what you're saying and I want to know how you differ from the new religion of psychology which is so prevalent today and is preaching basically what you're preaching who is the uh, religion of psychology who would that personally be identified with? no one just a movement the humanistic movement yes well you see I do interpret the Bible as a book of psychology rather than a book of theology I believe that the Bible is a book of positive self-image psychology for example my interpretation of Jesus I believe 
that Jesus was showing every man his relationship to God. I do not believe that Jesus was trying to say to the world, look, I am the only one who is divine. I am the only one who is the Son of God. I believe that Jesus was saying to humanity, look, you too are the Son of God. And the works that I do shall you do also, and greater works. And that's the quotation. We're in Chicago with Reverend Ike, and we'll be back in a moment.